Dear colleagues, I would like to convey my sincere appreciation to the Albanian Chairmanship for skillfully guiding work of this organization during a challenging year. Strengthening of the rules-based European security order based on the commitments enshrined in Helsinki Final Act and the Paris Charter must remain our priority. Unfortunately, we continue to witness breaches of international norms in wider Europe. The ongoing crisis in and around Ukraine remains one of the most critical security challenges. A long-term peaceful resolution of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine must remain a high priority for the OSCE. We support diplomatic efforts within the Normandy format and the trilateral contact group that foster full implementation of the Minsk agreements. The OSCE special monitoring mission to Ukraine must be continued in order to foster peace, stability and security in Ukraine. As Russia-backed armed formations in eastern Ukraine intentionally obstruct missions operations, it is crucial that the mission has full safe and unhindered access throughout Ukraine, including international border between Russia and Ukraine. Violation of sovereignty and territorial integrity by any country is and will remain unacceptable. Latvia will never recognize the illegal annexation of Crimea and Sevastopol. Resolution of the so-called protracted conflicts also is important for achieving security in the OEC area. The OEC should remain as principal platform for resolution of these conflicts. Concerning Nagorno-Karabakh, Latvia welcomes the trilateral statement of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia. We encourage all parties to honor their commitments under this agreement. We reiterate our full support to the efforts of the OEC means group to pursue long-term political settlement of this conflict. Continued borderization activities beyond the South Secession administrative boundary continue to infringe on the territorial integrity of Georgia, and that is unacceptable. We will also continue to support the efforts to resolve the conflict in Transnistria through peaceful dialogue. Mr. Chairperson, military transparency and predictability are essential elements for the security in the OECE area. The Treaty on Open Skies remains an important legally binding agreement intended to provide a level of transparency among its state's parties. Furthermore, the modernization of the Vienna document would constitute a strong signal about the sincerity of our collective readiness to ease tensions and to engage substantially in risk reduction. OEC activities in preventing, investigating and combating illicit trafficking of small arms and light weapons and stockpiles of conventional ammunition must be strengthened. I would like to emphasize that gender equality is a cross-cutting issue in all OEC dimensions, including security. Mr. Chairperson, there will be no long-term stability and security in the region without the observance of our commitments in the human dimension. Democracy, rule of law and fundamental freedoms must be upheld by all participating states. We are deeply concerned about the dire states of civil society following the presidential elections in Belarus. The violence against post-election protests is not acceptable. The Moscow Mechanism Fact-Finding Mission affirmed serious derogations from OEC's human dimension commitments by the Belarus authorities. I call upon the participating states to take into consideration these findings and accordingly provide support to the civil society of Belarus wherever and whenever possible. Most importantly, we urge the Belarusian authorities to stop persecution of peaceful protesters, immediately release all unfairly detained, and engage in a genuine political dialogue with the opposition. Latvia will continue strong advocacy for media freedom and safety of journalists in Belarus and elsewhere. The only real solution to this crisis is a new, fair presidential election in the presence of international observers. 
Let me conclude by welcoming Sweden as the incoming chair personship in the OSCE. Latvia is looking forward to work closely with you on all issues of the OSCE agenda. Thank you very much.